each costume unique to its owner. I'm seeing some coconut. Um, I'm just working from home today and I'm watching a live stream of the Zulu parade down in Mardi down in New Orleans for Mardi Gras. Um, I did this same thing last year because my birthday actually fell on Fat Tuesday last year and I just like it. I love New Orleans. I love parades. I love watching them. It's just so much fun. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, working, watching the parades today. And then I'm going to pack up um, some of my stuff a little bit more and I'm going to do my nails. I think that's the part that I'm most excited about is doing my nails. Um, but yes, so let's just, let's just get back into parade and the day. So I did all of this, like all of that, right? Just stuff everywhere, stuff in the window seal everywhere for this. Just for this, just for this. Whatever, I like them, that's all that matters. My cute little chromey heart. I don't know if y'all can see that, but she's cute. The color looks so much better in person though, the lighting is trash. Look who came to the office dressed as me today. This is this is literally an outfit I would wear. I don't know who Maria thinks she is, <laughs> but she got the clock lip in. I always have a clock lip in. Look <laughs> at her. Oh my god. She got her Abercrombie jeans on. Too cute. <laughs> Okay, we have to talk for a second. So, today is Thursday, and I am six days away from turning 32, which is, first and foremost, such a blessing. I know a lot of people feel some type of way about their birthdays. I love my birthday. I love my birthday so freaking much because, I don't know, I guess it's just because I know people that never made it to 21. I know people that never made it to 25. And here I am on my way to 32. So I love, love, love birthdays. But as I get older, and as I kind of move out of this <sighs> rose colored glasses, delusional thinking kind of headspace, um, I am starting to realize that I have so much potential and I'm fucking wasting it away. Excuse my French. I'm wasting my potential away by not even going after the things that I want in life. So, and, and I do this spill. I, I've been doing this spill for the past like almost three, four years about how I'm going to get my life together. It's gonna, I'm going to be better. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Oh, gosh, here we go. Okay, hold on. I think I'm a part of that millennial early 30s group where we did so well growing up like school extracurriculars like 
being good kids, good siblings, good friends. I did all of that and I was burnt out by the time I was like 26. I feel like I got to a point where I was so burnt out and I was just doing everything else that I was supposed to do that I was never really doing things that I wanted to do slash I wasn't doing things that I wanted to do to the level that I wanted to do them to. Does that make sense? So I'm just sitting here thinking my 32nd birthday is coming up next Wednesday, the 21st of February. I'm just talking now. It's just word vomit coming out of me, but I hope it makes sense. 32 has to be the year that I do the shit. Like I have to put forth the effort. If I want a new job, I have to learn a new skill. If I want to monetize and make some more money, I gotta get a second job or I've gotta get this stuff and social media and the podcast to work out. Like I have to actually just kind of like, uh, like punch life in the face. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I need to run full steam ahead. I know life is a marathon, it is not a sprint. But right now, I don't even have my running shoes on. I'm like laying down right now, literally. Literally and figure, figuratively, I'm laying down and I know that I have so much fucking potential and I'm not doing anything with it. And that is what's scary. Me not ever like pursuing my potential is what's scary. And it has now taken me, like it's taken me to get to 32 to feel this way. So I don't know. I just feel like I had to come on here and say that to the vlog because I think some things have to change. And I know, I know I say that all the time, but I think I'm like in the headspace where come like beginning of March, things are going to look extremely different over the next year. But starting like in two weeks, two to three weeks, things are about to look very, very different. I, I have no choice, so. Yeah, I just had to say that. I had to get that off my chest. Who knows if that's gonna make it in the vlog or not, but I just had to say that. Morning, it is a little after 8 a.m. on a Saturday. I'm running some errands today and we're gonna wrap up this week's vlog. Um, I have to go to the post office to do a return and then I just need to go to the store to just grab a few like random things. Um, but yeah, I'm sitting here in the garage just thinking I only have a few more weeks left in this townhouse and then I'm back on my own again. I'm back in an apartment. I had that whole spill the other day where I just kind of like went off rip. But I meant what I said. Like I really have to kind of, not kind of, like I really have to change what I'm doing with my life. So yeah, uh, I'm excited though. I'm excited. I'm always excited for another, another birthday, another year. I know that they're not promised. So yeah, that's my spill for this morning. Let's go run some errands. Let me tell y'all something. There is nothing wrong with shopping at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree isn't even a dollar anymore. And you can honestly get like a lot of the stuff that you need, even if it's not name brand, it's still the same thing for a dollar twenty-five. Like I'm just trying to think smarter and spend my money better honestly i love the fish eye effect on here i'm sitting in the car just getting done at dollar tree and i have to return some sunglasses um the sunglasses that i had on in the new orleans vlog the day after i had like scratched my face with that straw um those were for Kay's glasses and i was like girl i love these glasses where did you get them from and she told me where she got them from, but she's like, hey, Pretty Little Things has a dupe. And so she sent me the link. They were like $20. It was so weird. Like, I think Pretty Little Things got sued at some point for like advertising their prices in a certain way. Cause this is what happened. They were like $20. Then they had like a promo code that would give you like four or $5 off. But then the shipping was four or $5. So, Honestly, there really was no discount, so whatever. Um, but they were brown. If you remember in the vlog, the glasses were like a light brown. Tell me why they sent me black. 
they sent me black. Now this is the second time this month that I've bought from like a trendy spot and they just mess up my orders. I didn't put it in a vlog, but I had ordered um, actually this little sweatsuit from Fashion Nova, this and some pants. Tell me why I ordered it in green. They had a buy one, get one free. So I ordered one in green and I ordered one in gray. Tell me why, instead of just saying the green was sold out and just refunding me my money, they sent me two gray ones. Then they were kind of like making it hard for me to get my refund. They were like, the first person was like, yeah, no problem, girl. We're about to give you your money. Then somebody else came up behind them from customer service and was like, actually, no, we don't believe you. Send us pictures, which sending pictures wasn't the problem. But I just feel like as businesses, y'all should know what's going out. Like if a person ordered green and you're out of stock of green, before you ship my order, cancel the green one and just be like, hey, we refunded this green one to your card because we don't have it. Like, why would y'all send me black sunglasses when I distinctly ordered brown? Not to mention, brown was the only color online. So I just, I didn't understand, y'all. I didn't understand. It made me upset and uneasy. And I'm not too inclined to keep buying from shops like that. I would rather buy from like small businesses or just do the big box retailers like the H&M's. And, and stuff like that because I'm about sick of y'all. We're gonna pop into TJ Maxx because it just so happens to be over here. Um, we're gonna go into TJ Maxx because I'm looking for some black pants to wear tonight. Tonight is Galentine's dinner. I didn't even tell y'all that. I'm going to dinner with Amber, Kiana, Maria, Kelsey. That's it. Um, so yeah, we're going to dinner. For Galentine's. Doesn't matter that it's after Valentine's Day, it's fine. So I'm excited. We're going to this place called Dia, D E A. I've never been. That's where we're going. So yeah, but I still I still do need to go to Target. Just because they didn't have some stuff in Dollar Tree that I wanted. Um so yeah. And plus it's Target, so duh. But let me wrap this up and I will We'll, we'll keep we'll keep shopping and running errands. Please take me back to like middle school. A little Birkenstock. Oh my God, do I want to get them? Mm. I'm tempted, very tempted. Okay, this is the skirt. Very cute. Cute. I like this a lot. Okay, y'all saw what I got. I got the shoes. I got the shoes, y'all. I'm not even mad about it. I love wearing these kinds of shoes. And I think they'll be perfect to wear to work. If y'all didn't know, I just sit behind a desk three days a week and do my work. I don't have to look cute every day. Um, but yes, I got the shoes and I'm very excited about it. Also, 16 carriages. Y'all know I'm like in my Beyonce era. Don't get me wrong. Texas Hold'em, great song, great song. 16 carriages. I think Beyonce had this in the vault for a minute. And she's like, yeah, y'all can have it now. No problem. This song is so good. Like, I I know, Beyonce, she does everything extremely well. So I'm not surprised that this, like, country song is doing well. Daddy Lessons did great. But y'all, like, if you just want a beautiful song to listen to, don't even, don't even think about the fact that it's Beyonce. If you just want a really beautiful song to listen to, 16 Carriages.
I do, I do.